where it seemed like offensively it was hard to find a flow and a rhythm. What did you feel out there just as a group on that end of the floor that wasn't clicking? I think uh, the turnovers, mm -hmm. you know, I think comes from spacing, you know, making the easy right play. I thought we, when we did that, uh, you know, we got a lot of easy shots. Uh, we didn't make a lot of them tonight, but you know, uh, I'm happy with those shots. You know, those going to fall uh, in the future. Uh, but we just got to be consistent. I think, you know, finding our, finding our flow, you know, finding our spacing, and uh, yeah, keep making the right play consistently. How much of that do you attribute just to the newness that is here? I mean, you did not sure. play with Julius very much during the right preseason, kind of all that stuff. For sure, yeah. these, these things don't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. you know, so we got to keep working, we're going to watch film, um, yeah, find ways to to maximize our talent. You know, I thought there were some great stretches tonight, but I thought some of them uh, were not as great, and, uh, and that's to be expected. You know, uh, I think what, what cost us the game, I think, is more uh, the defensive rebound, you know, especially in the first half, I think. That's, uh, I think at some point they shot like 15 more shots than we did. And, um, you know, it, it's, we, we play good defense, but when they get multiple opportunities, they're going to they're gonna capitalize on those. So uh, we definitely got to do a better job defensive rebounding. And, and then we get more easy stuff offensively from that, from our defense. Is that just a product of effort in your mind, the, the rebound? Uh, I don't think there's any any guy in this locker room that doesn't want to play hard, you know. But I think I do think I do think tonight they were, they were the most physical team, and uh, they were the team that got most of the 50-50 ball, you know. So that can happen, you know. We it has to be who we are every night, and that's our identity. That's what that's one of the reasons why we're so good last year, you know, because we were the, the most hungry team uh, almost every night. So. We gotta find that. Seeing LeBron and Bronny on the court together, what was it like for you? I mean, I was locked in on the game, but being a father now, <laughs> you know, uh, just the idea of being on the same floor with my son, which would never happen, <laughs> unless I play until I'm 50. But who knows? You know? <laughs> but um, but yeah, it's it's crazy. I mean, the the idea of just being on the NBA court with your son. <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, that's, I mean, that's why. You know, you know, I think uh, regardless of what people say, you know, uh, you can be proud. You can be proud, and then uh, you know, and then, you know, having having you being a great NBA player, but also having your son um, yeah, following your footsteps, you know, and then just making it to the league. You know, it's it's. I mean, there's only 450 NBA players in the whole world, so. You know, that's an amazing accomplishment. Rudy, it, 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 with the, the ball movement in the preseason, it seemed like it was really moving and you guys offensively were getting into that flow. It seemed like that kind of dried up a little bit tonight. What's the key to kind of sustaining that? I think just keep the ball moving. You know, uh, simple. I mean, the spacing would help, uh, but keep our flow, you know, keep, keep our aggressiveness, you know, attacking the basket and then just yeah, making the easy right play. You know, every time we we move the ball side to side, uh, we got great shots. You know, and then uh, now it's it's about consistency. It's about being able to do it over and over, and uh, we get there. Pretty when it comes to extending your career, signing an extension with this with this team, three to one. What did you kind of? foresee in this deal um, to maybe help the team have some flexibility or how, how did it all come together? Um, I mean, I think it was, it was about finding a win-win situation. You know, uh, I'm happy here. My family is happy here. Um, I want to win the championship here. You know, and, uh, and, uh, and also, you know, my, my, my next year contract was really high. So being able to allow the team to keep our guys, you know, and also so that was the win for the Timberwolves, but being able to also keep me for a longer term was, was great for both of us. And, and also for me, just giving me a, a little more stability, you know, long term, I think was, was uh, what we were looking for. So I'm really grateful, you know, I'm really happy. And uh, yeah, now <laughs> the goal is still the same, you know, regardless of if you would have had a deal or not, you know, the goal is to win a championship. You know, and, uh, 
whatever it takes to, to keep building and, uh, and also keep uh, doing great things for the community. Rudy, is, is that a difficult decision as you're weighing versus like what your contract is and how much to give back to the team and then you know what you're getting on, on years on the back end, things like that? Like how, how do you kind of try to work through that to find a place where you're happy? I think it's about finding balance. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, every year, every, every time I sign a contract, I always try to, you know, leave a little bit for the team, you know, mm -hmm. be able to realize that, uh, you know, I'm grateful. You know, being able to, to earn what I'm earning, uh, coming from where I come from. You know, it's a, it's an amazing blessing. And uh, and uh, at the same time, being able to yeah not be too greedy and then uh, leave some of the table for uh, for competitiveness as a team. You know, uh, I think it's important. And uh, and I'm grateful that you know I've had yeah I've had great people around me and you know and, and the work that. I've been putting every single day uh, since I started playing basketball. It's, it's allowed me to, yeah, to be in a position to, to to do what I love to do and then you know earn what I'm what I'm earning. It seems like you like it in this locker room. You like this group together. Sure. I mean, if so, if what you do no. helps to keep Nas here, like exactly. No, yeah. At this point in my career, it's. it's um, I've ne it's never been about money, but even more at this point in my career, you know, it's about being where. I feel at home and where I can win championship. And uh, you know, these guys from players, the coaches, the organization uh, embraced me, you know, and then believed in me and gave me the opportunity to be the best version of myself uh, on and off the court and, and also make me grow. You know, I, I feel like I'm growing every single year, every single day. And, um, and yeah, I'm really grateful that, you know, I'm going to be able to, you know, be there for these guys. Uh, on the long run and then uh, and yeah, try to try to win as many championships as we can.